Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me yet again this week. Uh, in case you don't know who I am and you're new around here, uh, my name is Danielle and I make videos every week about usually plus size fashion, um, sewing, other random things. This week is a story time video. I'm guessing by the title that you know what you came here for. Uh, this is all about how I met interviewed and embarrassed myself in front of Drake and some other people that are quite famous. I'm just good like that. Anyway, let's get into it. So let me just state, this is from when Drake was still known as Jimmy on Degrassi. Uh, he was just starting his music career didn't even have a label yet. His first mixtape had just come out and I had no freaking clue who he was, okay? At least not as Drake. I knew him as the kid from Degrassi. That's it. So, let me just set the scene for you. Uh, I spent a summer between, like, semesters um, in school, like college when I lived in Toronto, um, without a job. Uh, I'd been looking and looking and looking, so I spent the entire summer either volunteering or doing like odd jobs I found on Craigslist. And Craigslist is how I found this particular job. I was hired by Atlantic Records uh, to basically follow a behind the scenes videographer around interviewing the director and the two artists on the song, uh, as well as anybody else I thought pertinent, um, about the music video they were making. And I was supposed to be there for the whole duration of the shoot. So, uh, I didn't know, I got call sheets that I had to get printed out um, so that I could know what was going on. I also had waivers that I had, so I carried around a fancy clipboard that people made fun of me for holding all freaking day, okay? It just, I need to be organized. Um, so, when I got there, everybody knew who Drake was. I had no clue. I'm just like this clueless teenager. Well, actually, I think it was like 20 or something like that. And I'm now 30, so just keep that in context. Like, it was maybe like 20, maybe 22, who knows. Uh, so I show up at the Soho. Is it Soho? or Metropolitan, I don't know, one of the downtown hotels right next to the Rogers Center or the Sky Dome, whichever you know it as. And I like sign in for my day, meet the videographer, we talk about what we're gonna do. I have all the pre-written questions. They told me I could ad lib if I wanted or add more questions if I thought it would be pertinent to the interviews. And then we sort of like figure out what we're gonna do. So. The two artists who were filming um, were Drake and Trey Songs. They were filming the music video for Successful. Um, it's like my favorite Drake song because he actually sings in it and a lot less rapping. Anyway, um, so my job was to secure the interviews with Trey Songs and Drake. The problem is that Drake didn't have a like. Uh, a label at the time so like actually convincing him to do this was difficult um, and then nailing down Trey to like actually get him to sit down and do an interview was nearly impossible because he was always like doing things and trying to keep his business because this song was actually going on his album which I learned later and is part of the embarrassing story uh, so anyway moving on we're into it we're like going about things and I'm trying to like be and see everything because I'm really interested in this and um, so we get the interview with the director out of the way and then um, we interview Trey in the lobby of the hotel where it's all noisy and echoey and we don't really think about that. I now know better. Um, and then finally we, you know, get to interview Drake. and. Now it's been built up, it's nighttime now, we've been here all freaking day, and it's dark out, and we're trying to film this and get lighting and all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna like ask 
questions and add some extra ones in there. And because I had no clue who he was, what he did up until this point, I literally asked, how did you get involved on this music video? Because he'd said it was going on Trey's album. So I thought, like, how did this happen? And he's like, well, I wrote the song. And I'm like, <sighs> of course you did. Of course, me, being the whitest white person I know, um, turned to bright red and was like, hey, oh, moving on. I'm not gonna ask any more questions that I didn't have pre-written. I asked all the rest. Um, he was fine with it, but I'm still mortified to this day. So they asked a very dumb question. If I'd known, I only found out that morning, like, basically who I would be interviewing. If I'd known ahead of time, I would have researched the shit out of it. On top of that, um, I also interviewed Jamie Foxx because he showed up. He was in the city at the same time and he's friends with Drake and he wanted to come and see what was going on, which was really cool. I met his sisters, like... Jamie Foxx's sisters because they worked for him um, and uh, also at some point in time during the shoot Trey Songs jumped in my arms like you know when a girl jumps in a guy's arms and they're like you know hold me whatever he did that to me um, which was interesting and he's really freaking hot his abs are awesome um, just putting that out there I've seen them in real life um, and he has a very nice smile that basically could make you do anything um, which is what got me uh, anyway so that also like weirdly embarrassing moment we were all stuffed in the hallway the entire crew of the whole set was stuffed in the hallway um, so that we could film like into the hotel suite and so you couldn't see everything was like glass and stuff so like you had to make sure there was nothing reflecting where you could see a camera person or like an extra person and so um trey was walking up to the door like knocking on it you'd see it in the music video it's in there um and then like drake opens the door and then trey walks away and when he walks away he just got to me and sort of like ran out of space so he thought it'd be fun and just like leapt into my arms and I had to catch him. I hadn't interviewed him yet, okay? I hadn't interviewed him yet. I've only like begged him for an interview a few hundred times that day and he just le leapt, leapt into my arms. I was like, hi, like his face was here and I was like, hey. And he's like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, great. <laughs> you know, I was really young and like hadn't really been around a lot of people on sets or anything like that. And this was my first experience. Anyway, uh, I had to stay up for like a full 24 hours because I had to be there at the end of the shoot when they were at Cherry Beach Studios doing the final bits and interview them again when they were mostly asleep uh, about how it went and like, you know, promo the album and stuff. Um, that was the longest day of my entire life and I don't think I could ever do it again. However, it's still a great story. Uh, and that's what I got out of it. I, you know, this is a time when, like, I didn't have a smartphone. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'd only been on Facebook for, like, a minute. And so, like, other than the behind-the-scenes video, where I, like, actually am in it, like, I walk across the screen at one point in time, in a top that I only got rid of two years ago, um, you know... That's the only proof that it even happened and it's just, you know, funny and embarrassing and I still listen to that song today because it's good memories and also that song always pumps me up. Like, I want to be successful. I mean, I, I may not want like the things they're talking about in the video, you know, but I still want to be successful in life and that's what that song is about to me. Anyway. This has been long enough. My battery is dying. I'm gonna go. I've already filmed five videos. That's why I'm in the same shirt as all the other videos that you've seen in the last little while. I will see you guys next week. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, if you don't, that's cool. Leave comments. Have you met anybody cool? Embarrass yourself like me? That's cool. I want to know because I, I can't be alone in this. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!